it's not officially listed as lying to the media day yesterday, but it should be because the general managers got together. Most of the general managers in the NFL got together. And these are a lot of the GMs whose teams are not in the playoffs. So you're meeting with the local media. Local media gets to ask you questions. Gets to ask you questions like this with Ryan Poles, the Bears general manager. I'm excited for the direction he's going. And as I mentioned before, he knows where he has to improve. I think you mentioned that the other day. Um, so we're excited about his development and where he goes next. He showed ability to be impactful with his legs. There's flashes with his arm. Now if we can put that together, I think we have something really good. All right. That's him talking about Justin Fields. This is the one that we should have brought you. Because you have the first pick, there are people that sit there and go, the quarterback might be available there. You're saying Justin's your guy. Well, we're going to do the same as we've always done. We're going to evaluate the draft class. And I would say this, I'd have to be absolutely blown away to make that type of decision. Okay, you're open to it. Hey, if I'm blown away, instead of saying we got our quarterback, but we're open for business. He actually said both. He said, yeah, Justin Fields, unless I'm blown away. <laughs> I, I love my wife unless I'm blown away by somebody else. Wait, are you committed? If if I'm Justin Fields and I'm watching that, I'm like, yeah, all right, my GM is, wait, what? Plus, if you're going to meet with the media, why would you tell them anything? I wouldn't. I mean, it's must-lie situation. And if I'm a member of the media, I expect that. I just want to hear how you're going to lie to me. Or you can be vague. But why would you let anybody know what you're going to do? Unless... You're going to play a game so the Colts go, oh, my gosh, wait, they could be taking Bryce Young? Or you're Carolina and you go, well, we can't get one of those quarterbacks. Maybe we could trade for Justin Fields. Justin Fields is an interesting player. But he's polarizing in a way because he is really good at running the football. And he's entertaining. And the only reason to watch the Bears this year. But also... He's not a good passer. Now, he doesn't have weapons, but and he doesn't have an offensive line. Other than that, he does have ability. But does he have the capabilities where you go, we're going to pass up the number one pick in the draft? Bryce Young. We may not be in this position again. And let's look at the game plan here. If you're going to take Bryce Young, trade Justin Fields. What are you going to get for Justin Fields? You going to get a first round pick? I also get a quarterback who I'm going to bring in, who's also a runner, but a better passer. At least it, uh, I think the uh, draft profile is Bryce Young is a better passer than Justin Fields. So I'm going to bring him in. Now I've got a rookie contract there. What am I going to get? Now I get another first round pick, and now I got now I start the rebuild here. But are you committed to Justin Fields? If you're committed to him, now you're open for business with the number one pick overall. And then what can you get for that pick if Carolina wants to jump up? If the Colts want to jump up? There's a few teams. And now the game begins. But I would never tell somebody in the middle of January what our plans are. There's no benefit to that unless I'm playing a game with other people. But it's a must-lie situation. And you start to look at a franchise quarterback. I don't know if Bryce Young's a franchise quarterback. But if you think he is, then you make that move. There would be no question in my mind. If I thought Bryce Young was a significant upgrade over Justin Fields, I would make that move. Because if I can get a first-round pick, maybe something a little bit more. I mean, he did rush for over 1,000 yards. I don't want my quarterback rushing for over 1,000 yards. But I'm not worried about the fan reaction to this. This is your job. If you're going to base your job on what you think the fans want, you're in trouble. This has to be your job, your decision, your commitment, and then you move forward. And you better hope that Bryce Young is that quarterback. Or C.J. Stroud. You know, the odds, DraftKings has odds on the uh, number one you know, player taken, and it's Bryce Young. Then it's uh, C.J. Stroud, Will Anderson, and Jalen Carter. But if I need a quarterback, or I feel like I don't have a quarterback, then that's who I'm taking. 
I would take Bryce Young. Or if you feel like if you grade it out and you see C.J. Stroud or Will Levis, but take that quarterback and don't look back. But if you have doubts, then trade the pick. Or, you know, are you going to take Jalen Carter, you know, Georgia interior lineman? Yeah, Seton. Man, it feels like just yesterday we were at Justin Fields' uh, pro day watching him roll out to the left and oh. throw a 65-yard oh. bomb. Oh, yeah. Well, remember that guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But we were also at the pro day for Zach Wilson, who rolled left and threw right for 60 yards. That doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> yeah, but remember that clip, though, how awesome it was? Oh, I know. But it's the Patrick Mahomesian of pro days. The, you know, where you go, I got to roll left and throw right 60 yards. How many times did the Bears call that play this year? <laughs> How many times did you see Zach Wilson roll left, throw right, and complete a 60-yard pass? Probably zero times this year. 877-3DP-SHOW, email address dp at danpatrick.com, Twitter handle at DP show. Yes, Paulie? If you're the GM of the Bears, do you have two phones on your desk? A Fields phone and a number one pick phone. Because otherwise, when you pick up the phone and it's like the Carolina Panther gym, hey, how's it going? Which, what are you calling about? Because mm. you got to find out which direction they're calling. Fields, by the way, this year, he threw for 17 touchdowns, 11 picks. His quarterback rating was not bad. It was 85. But he only threw for 2,200 yards. That is the worst amount of yardage by a quarterback who started 15 games in the past 20 years. Yeah, if, if you have any hesitancy then take that quarterback. If you think Bryce Young, boy, we can't pass him up. This, this is, he, you know, he's in that small group of can't miss quarterbacks. Okay, then you make the move. Now, if I'm Carolina, do I want what you don't want? Would I be willing to give up, what is it, the eighth pick in the draft? This is a team that could have drafted Justin Fields two years ago. Now, new regime, do you go, oh man, we'd love to have him. Who's going to be the head coach there? Now, does Sean Payton go, oh, my God, trade for Justin Fields. I'll make him into a, a Pro Bowl quarterback. But if you have any doubt, I would make that move. Because hey, look at what you're going to do to your team. You reset that uh, the rookie contract at that position. I'm going to get another first-round draft pick, hopefully for Justin Fields. And maybe I get a wide receiver or an offensive lineman. What a novel approach to improving your offense. I don't care who your quarterback is. If you don't have any weapons there, you're going to be like, that guy's really good, but that team is not. So you have a really good quarterback, and you are back in the position of having the number one pick in the draft. Yes, Eden. Isn't there a scenario, though, where, say, the Bears trade the number one pick? Mm -hmm. They stick with Justin Fields, mm -hmm. even just for the year. You can still bring in all of this. You know, you have all of this cap space. You could bring in a whole bunch of, you know, five, six new players or whatever. And you stick with Justin Fields just for this one year because you'll know at the end of the year if he is the guy or not. And then if he's not the guy, chances are you have a high draft pick again. <laughs> so just draft another quarterback. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. But then you get Caleb Williams. Here's the thing. If you don't know by now if Justin Fields is your quarterback, then you're not doing your job. You should know. You know, the Ravens may not know because of the amount of money that Lamar Jackson wants. That's different. Justin Fields, if I just say the talent to throw the football on a consistent basis in the NFL, are you capable of doing that? And if you believe that, and he still gives you the element of running the football, then I would keep him. And then I would trade the number one pick. But you can't go two years watching somebody play and go, I'm just not sure. <laughs> At that position, you know. I mean, go back to when we saw the Chargers on Hard Knocks. And you're watching veterans watch Justin Herbert throw the football. They stopped and watched him. And, and I'm going, oh my God, there's your quarterback. I mean, they had Tyrod Taylor, but I'm going, oh, that, that tells me a whole lot when the veterans are watching him. Yes, he how does the, uh, if you don't know by now, then you're not doing your job scenario apply to the 49ers? Because they have about five <laughs> quarterbacks right now that I think are pretty good, but maybe not. I think they knew what they had with Jimmy G, and they were willing to let him go. I think they knew what they had with Trey Lance, and then he got hurt. They sort of stumbled into Brock Purdy because I don't know if they actually knew what they had in him. And he'd only been there 
you know, how many months? Less than a year. But after two years of watching somebody play, what, 30-some games? 30-odd games? You should know how good somebody is going to be at that position. I'd be shocked if, if uh, the GM would go, eh, I'm still not sure about uh, his ability to throw the football. Yeah, Paul. But if you listen to that first clip you played, he does say that. He goes, he's a great runner. He's exciting, blah, blah, blah. He goes, we're still waiting to see if we could make steps in the passing game. Like you said, tw- 25 starts in and... I, I got to know if you can throw the football. You, you might have guys who can't catch, but I have to know if you can throw the football at a consistent basis. <laughs> right? they, they've never seen him play with good players. That's, that's the problem. The Bears have never had a good line and decent receivers around him at any point in the past two years. So they, they have no sample. They should go let him play with the Niners for a couple of weeks, like a scrimmage, and see what he does. I feel like they owe him a year. No. Oh. oh, okay. Like, give him a shot. You got you. You have this one opportunity. The guy's been running for his life the last two years or whatever. Just no, no. He's I, been I, taking I, all the hits. He's been taking all the abuse. <laughs> he's been taking all the crap just for some other kid to come out of college to get the hell no, hell no. Oh no, these are business decisions. Hell these no. are grown ass do man things. decisions. No, you, you can't do it emotionally. Hey, we got to be no, no, but you're doing it emotionally. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. you can't. Yeah, See, no. you're getting soft. You're caring about players. Yeah, you can't. You can't go. Ah, uh, you know what? Nah. I think we owe it to him. Like he he ran for a thousand yards. He was the only thing in- interesting about us. A little humanity in this <laughs> damn game. Ugh. No, we've had humanity. <laughs> Damar Hamlin, we don't have humanity when it comes to decisions like uh, this. Just as Tua. Yes, but yeah. And I guess that's the other thing. If you compare it to like a Cam Newton style, is Justin Fields' style sustainable for no, 10 years? No, no. Well, then, then even more so, then you should question the entire decision. It doesn't even matter how good yeah, he is. Yeah, but I don't know how much Bryce Young is going to run. I, I feel like he's a better passer. Where are the dropback quarterbacks? Well, is it, no, well, C.J. Stroud more of a drop is more of, but he did use his legs against Georgia. And I'm told C.J. Stroud, it might be the best pocket passer in this group. But you got to be, you, you, you can't, you can't waver on this. 